the size of its camera. The LSST camera is the largest digital camera ever made. It's the size of an automobile. It weighs 6,000 pounds. The detector is called a CCD. It's what's in all of your phones, charge coupled device. It digitally records what's out there across the entire focal plane of this telescope, which is so large, its field of view can image 50 full moons. So now you just pop an exposure and then slew the telescope, get another one next to it. And what you end up mosaicing is the whole sky visible to you in a very short amount of time. By the way, the field of view is so large, it is larger than what can fit on the display of your computer screen. What do I mean by that? You can put it on your screen and then you can zoom in and zoom in and you can keep doing this before you have exhausted the resolution of the image, which happens when it matches the resolution of your screen of when the first science is obtained from a telescope that's been under construction. So in the first data release, which is in all the news, you take a look at an image and you see some galaxies and some, some stars. Yeah, I expect that. But wait a minute, it's a movie. All of a sudden you see some of these objects are not stationary. They're booking across the field of view. There's another one going that way. And then this way. These are undiscovered asteroids, never before documented by any prior scientist or telescope. How many asteroids did it discover, might you ask? It discovered more than 2,000 asteroids in the first 10 hours of operation. By the way, we discover a lot of asteroids every year, tens of thousands of asteroids. So I don't wanna play down the significance of the world's effort to discover asteroids, but if we discover tens of thousands of asteroids in a year and the Rubin Telescope discovered 2,000 asteroids in 10 hours, that's a month's worth of asteroids in 10 hours. And by the way, this tranche of more than 2,000 asteroids, that's just in one section of the sky. There's more sky that we're gonna learn about. And we fully expect millions of asteroids to be discovered that had never been cataloged before. You realize in the next few years, the Vera Rubin Observatory will discover more asteroids than have been cataloged in the last two centuries. That's science on the move, that's astrophysics. This telescope will also be able to map large scale structures of the universe, galaxies, and this will give us insights into the nature and the distribution of dark matter 